Welcome to the Stock Radar series, where we focus on hot stocks that are on my radar for this week. Spoiler alert, this video is not about GameStop, AMC, or Nokia, or Naked, or Bed Bath Beyond, or Blackberry, or any of those. This series is made to be a quick three to five minute video that gets right to the point. Man, have we hit the biospace strong this month. BNGO, SENS, OBSV. I'm gonna link the newest one with the card up above. This week, I've seen a huge uptick in stock tweets, Reddit, and Twitter about Excel RX Pharmaceuticals. Stock ticker A. CRX. Just another penny medical stock. But man, this is the time for these things. The FDA approvals were delayed last year due to COVID on many of these penny stocks. And big money does not want to sit long. So people oversold a lot of these great opportunities to come back in when they get closer. And a lot of them are starting to pop like freaking SPACs lately. The CDC shows a scary uptick in drug related deaths since 99. And I'm sure you guys have heard the news that we have an opioid and an overprescription issue. There has been some innovation in the space, but it's like a gas car getting better every year with less emissions and more bells and whistles, and it's just not innovating fast enough until industry disruptors like Tesla stepped in. And we obviously know the entire direction of the automotive space now. Hashtag O'Neill. Okay, so what is Excel RX? They have developed a proprietary product called Desuvia. It's an alternative to an IV and oral opioid. It's an applicator used by healthcare professionals putting a tablet under your tongue that kind of releases pain medications, providing comfort to you and limiting the overdosing probability. What's unique about the system is that it rapidly absorbs through the plasma and effective in as quick as 6.2 minutes while morphine takes 168 minutes and hydromorphone at 46 minutes. The other upside is that it's less frequent dosing is needed because of the absorbed through the sublingual tissue of the plasma and redosing is prolonged to 2.5 hours compared to others at only 30 minutes because those others are absorbed too quickly with a short half-life and have rapid exit time leading to require redosing more frequently. And the cherry on top is the active metabolic and morphine and hydromorphone can accumulate in the plasma and may lead to delayed and unpredictable side effects. So in English, they basically created a pill that goes under your tongue and works like 20 times faster to help manage pain, last four times longer to not have to redose as often and finish with less side effects. These guys have two products in the USA and two products in Europe, and three of those four have been filled for approval by the FDA. Now the second, which hasn't yet in the United States, is called Zalviso. It's a device that delivers pain meds formulated in a proprietary non-invasive sublingual dosage from a handheld pre-programmed patented controller system. Its key advantage is lowering the risk of infections by being non-invasive, enhance ease of mobility because it's not tethered to a patient, and lower the risk of pump programming errors because it's pre-programmed. Okay, so what are the analysts and the predictions for the stock? As of the recording of this day, Tuesday the 26th, the stock is trading at $2.34 and is up about 36% from a year ago. It does have an overvalue report with a neutral rating on right Right now, but it does have good potential for mid and long term with strong buys and now price targets that range from five to nine dollars a share by the end of this year. And on another five out of eight brokerage firms rated a buy with a price target that ranges from six fifty to nine dollars a share. And it is currently trading in the mid two dollar range. Their annual revenue is improving gradually. Q4 of 2019, they did 0.48 million. In Q4 of 2020, they did 1.37 million, giving them EPS of negative 0.10 a share. As most penny stocks, it's still a baby compared to a lot of the big boys, but if you're looking to get into something early, this may be something to look at. My recent few things that I entered with BNGO and Sense was on a dilution news. I waited until they bottomed the next day, and when they traded sideways for a little bit, I jumped in. And then a couple days after that, they bounced back nicely. So it could be an option to wait if they have a dilution. Please remember this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own homework before you make any kind of purchases. So what do you guys think of this company? Is it in early stages and it's a good time to invest, or is it too risky? and there's some better opportunities out there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Also, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos, please write them down below in the comments as well. Come back this weekend for week five of our weekly stock roulette game series where we blindly try to beat the stock market. I also have links below for Robinhood and Webull where if you guys sign up, it's completely free and we both get free stocks. If you guys found some value in this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel. We're just getting started.